Have you been considering adding a standard poodle to your family, but you're unsure on what they're really like? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into how the standard poodle is at home and around children to see if they could be the perfect canine companion for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Poodle Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir Canine Leaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video and we'll start with the standard poodle's history to see if this can linked to their temperament. The standard poodle has a long history that's been documented through paintings throughout the 15th and 16th century. The standard poodle is said to have originated from France. However, the American and UK Kennel Club both argued that they originated in Germany. They were originally bred as hunting dogs due to their natural ability to swim. They were used to hunt waterfowl, including ducks and geese. The standard poodle is the oldest of the three types of poodle. They were often the pets of the rich and noble, and even Louis XVI was a fan of the poodle. The poodle is thought of as the second most intelligent dog breed. Although many people think of them as a pampered pooch, they were actually bred as working dogs. They're smart and very trainable thanks to their eagerness to please their owners. In fact, they are the most happiest when they're mentally stimulated. Standard poodles are very active dogs that are loyal and loving to their family. They can, however, be a little shy around strangers. They are also a sensitive breed. They are not like anyone in their family raising their voice and they'll hate loud noises. They've even been known to flinch if they're touched when it's not expected by them. If they sense stress, they can become physically poorly with digestive tummy upset and neurotic behaviours. Your standard poodle will be the best behaved when they have been sufficiently exercised both physically and mentally. As we always say here at Fenrir, a tired dog is a good dog. The standard poodle will happily join you on walks, hikes, swims and jogs and they love plenty of play sessions out in the garden. The standard poodle can actually make a good watchdog. They have mild protective instincts which means they are sensible and not aggressive. They will let you know if something unusual is going on by alerting you to someone knocking on the door or if someone's on your property. They do however like the sound of their own voice and this can be an issue if you live in close proximity of your neighbours. You can teach your standard poodle to only bark at things that's out of the ordinary instead of just everyone who's walking by the house. This should be an easy task as standard poodles love to learn. They'll thrive in training as long as you use positive reinforcements, plenty of praise and of course treats. Their love of learning also means toilet training is also very easy to complete within the first few weeks of bringing your poodle puppy home. As puppies, standard poodles can be very high energy and playful and will jump up to greet people. This can be an issue if not trained out of them as they can grow to become a medium to large breed. Another important thing is to ensure you start from an early age of socialisation. Standard poodles from some lines can become skittish or highly strong if they're not properly socialised to the outdoor world. Standard poodles form very strong attachments to their family. This means they can very easily suffer from separation anxiety. The standard poodle is best suited to families that have someone around the house all day or if a member of the family is available to return home at points throughout the day. It's still important that you teach your standard poodle that it's okay to be alone sometimes. Training your standard poodle how to deal with separation anxiety should start from the minute you bring your new puppy home. This can be achieved by first getting your puppy used to a crate. This can be done with crate games, for example playing a game of fetch and throwing the ball or toy into the crate. Once your standard poodle has a positive association with the crate, you can put them in their crate for a minute. Once they're comfortable with this after a few attempts, you can move on to the next stage. This is when you close the crate door. After your puppy gets comfortable with this and stays in the crate without any crying or howling, you can slowly increase the time left in the crate. This should never be a rushed process. Another good way to create positive association is by feeding all of your standard poodles food to them in the crate. Eventually, after some time and dedication, your standard poodle should realise that being on their own isn't as scary and that their own is always returned to them. If you don't show your standard poodle that being left alone throughout the day for short periods of time is okay, they may turn to unwanted behaviours like digging, chewing, anxious pacing and howling. Standard poodles who have been properly socialised and trained in manners and obedience will usually be happy to live with children. 
who know how to treat them correctly. As we've mentioned, standard poodle puppies can be bouncy and hyperactive, so it's essential that you watch any interactions with them and small children. They could easily jump up and accidentally injure a small child. Standard poodles can also struggle with children as they tend to make a lot of loud noises. This can startle your canine and make them anxious. Standard poodles are gentle by nature, so they'll be most happy when they're surrounded by their whole family. They'll love the extra play sessions with any children and will make quick bonds with them through play sessions. Standard poodles also get on well with other dogs and animals, especially if they've grown up alongside other animals. It's essential that they've been socialised properly to different sights, sounds, smells and animals throughout puppyhood, as this will ensure your standard poodle feels comfortable around different types and sexes of animals. The standard poodle is ideal for any family that can dedicate plenty of time to ensuring that they become a calm, well-rounded and polite canine. They'll make a great watchdog for your family and household and will love to play with your children. Just be sure to keep loud noises and unexpected quick movements down to a minimum. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated poodle videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Poodle Show.